Good morning, Facebook. It is Wednesday morning, just um, sitting on the edge of my bed, finished up my quiet time. Uh, woke up this morning, did some cardio, and uh, visualized, and um, just wanted to make a quick video, share some thoughts. So, um, just, you know, um, after I got done visualizing, basically I was just kind of, you know, thinking and, and praying basically and um you know was talking to God and I was like you know expressing how I never thought it was going to take this long you know I don't know if anyone can relate to to that but um been grinding really hard for you know five plus years um chasing a dream and um starting to see you know see some results and and gain some traction but still you know not where I thought I'd be, I guess, after all this time and, and, uh, just, you know, kind of processing those thoughts, you know, done a lot of that. Um, but you know, the funny thing about vision, I was really thinking about it this morning. It was like, you know, when you first kind of catch a vision for your life and you set out, it's almost like when you're traveling to a destination, you know, or picture you're going to a distant land you first set out towards this dream or whatever you, you don't you don't even really know what it is exactly you, maybe you've only it's only a feeling or you, or you've heard you know or you maybe you have an idea of what it is but you can't see it completely but the longer you travel toward that destination that vision the clearer it becomes right and the bigger it becomes just think picture something on the horizon as you continue to walk toward it it becomes clearer in the focus and it becomes bigger. And that's exactly what's happened with me and my vision over the last five years. It's continued to grow and become clearer as to what I want to do. Um, and the trick is, is to keep going, you know, to keep walking toward it, to keep running or, or at least walking toward it and not to get sidelined, you know, because there's so many temptations and obstacles that will come at you to try to get you distracted, you know, um, you know, the Bible says, basically, throw off everything that hinders you and the sin that so easily entangles and run with perseverance the race marked out for you. And that's the challenge, really. It's because there's like, you know, we live in this body and it's got all these appetites, you know, for the wrong things, especially, you know, someone like me, because I feel like I'm probably the most carnal of people, you know, of everything that's wrong. I like um, it all felt very natural to me to do the wrong thing for most of my life. So learning how to do the right thing and walk, you know, be obedient to God, let's say, and just kind of walk with him was very unnatural and challenging to me. Um, but I start, I saw the results from it, which is what motivated me to keep going. But the challenge is, is to, when you see the vision becoming clearer and bigger, it's exciting, but there's so many obstacles that will come at you to try to get you distracted and off course. And, you know, just staying completely focused. If you're not completely focused and vigilant, it's just so easy to get off track and settle and, you know, get caught up in something that you shouldn't be doing um, that will, you know, ultimately prevent you from reaching your goal. So that's it. Um, you know, if anybody's out there struggling with that, I can definitely relate. Um, but really, it all starts with having a, a clear vision for your life. And it, it's... You know, until I was 38 years old, I didn't really know. I had some vague ideas, but when I started meeting with Lori Lockamy, that is when I started to get clearer about it. And that's what really motivated me and pushed me out um, to go through the pain of transformation. Because that's the, if you, you know, when you have a clear vision, it will push you through the pain of transformation. But it's getting that vision. So Lori and I have been working on something called Life Together. It's going to be an eight week course. Um, that people will get together in their living room, it'll be free, and you'll be able to watch a video, do some exercises, and then have a conversation about those, those videos um, and get a homework assignment. So by the end of the eight weeks, you'll actually have a vision statement that you will have written for your life, and you'll have a real good understanding of what your purpose is. So I'm super excited about it. Um, it's basically a way to, to give people something that's benefited me so much for free. We'll be giving it away for free. And um, I really think it, it has the power to produce like 
positive changes in people's lives, like on, on a mass scale even. So I'm excited about that. Um, what else is going on in my life? I'm going to speak at a conference in Florida in a couple of weeks uh, to talk about relationships, which is kind of funny considering I haven't had one in over five years, but uh, I definitely know what not to do. <laughs> so I'll be talking a lot about that. And then um, going on Nikki Coachella's radio show tomorrow, uh, we have a volunteer event in Hartford County on July 22nd with City Fam. So I want to go up there and promote it and talk a little bit about City Fam. So I'm excited about that. And um, we have Tiki Bar this Friday for Renegade. So if you guys are out and about, come out. It should be a good time. Have a cornhole tournament for some prizes. And last event at Riverwatch was probably 75 to 100 people. So it's, uh, it's starting to catch on. <laughs> anyway, talk to you guys later. Have a great rest of your week. See you.